Hello, in this Dart programming video, we are going to look at arithmetic operators. So there are nine arithmetic operators within the Dart programming language, and they are for the most part universal in most languages. So let's cover the most basic ones first. So the first one we're going to cover is addition. So if I create two numbers, they could be integers, doubles, doesn't matter. I'm going to keep it simple and create integers. So int, I'm going to call it num1 equals 10, int num2 equals 5, and to do addition, you just put the plus symbol. So if we do num1 plus num2, that's added the two numbers together. Obviously, we haven't done anything with it because the value just gets put here, and it's like the same thing as putting 50 in here, which you know does nothing. So we can assign it to a res you know some sort of other variable or print it out. I'm just going to print it out directly. So we could do num1 plus num2, and as you'll see, we get the result of 15. I think you can guess at least three more of them. It will be the other basic operators, so subtraction. Which is just a minus symbol. Multiplication. The multiplication is not x as you would you know usually write it on paper. It's asterisk. For division, it is not you know the the dot horizontal line and then the dot. It is forward slash. So if we run this, see what we get as a result. We have 15, 5, 52. No, because 10 plus 5 is 15. 10 minus 5 is 5. 10 times by 5 is 50. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So the four, you know, basic ones, there's a... What we can also do is called the unary minus. So it sounds a bit, you know, fancy, unary minus. Also known as negation. This just reverses the sign. Yes, oh, it's still minus as well. But what you do is you only specify one number, one value. And if I print out num1, I haven't applied it. I just want to show you what we get with num1. We get 10. But if I put minus in front of it, this reverses the, the sign. So it puts minus 10. If this was a minus 10 and we run it, we will get 10 because a minus and a minus is a plus. I'll change this back. So that's the unary minus. Again, pretty, pretty simple stuff. There's the next operator we're going to look at is to do with division. It divides, but it returns an integer result. So if we were to put this as three and run that, as you can see, when we did 10 divided by three, we get 3.33 for three. So if I was to do another one here, but we'll group these together. And this is integer division. To do integer division, you do the tilde, which is the squig this little squiggly line, forward slash. And now if we run it, as you'll see, we get three. So this allows us to do integer division. So if that's what you want, that's the way to go. The next one, again, still sort of to do with division, is the modulus operator so modulus modulus i believe i spelled that correctly i think it's an old uh, no no clearly not clearly i did not spell it correctly it is the modulo operator but it's modulus modulo yeah modulo i think that's there to put that so modulo modulo and for this it is the percent symbol. If I put percent, this just gives us the remainder after division. So if we do 10 divided by 3, the remainder should be 1. If I was to turn this back to 5, because 5 perfectly goes into 10, we get 0 as the remainder. The last two operators are for increasing or decreasing a value, so incrementing and decrementing. So if I was to show you this, it is called increment plus plus that is the actual symbol and if i was to do print actually i'm going to increment it first so to increment it you put the variable name so num1 plus plus that's it this is the equivalent of doing num1 
equals itself plus one, which is also the equivalent of doing num one plus equals one. So all of these are alternative forms of writing this. The increment operator you will see all the time. So make sure that you actually understand exactly what it is doing. And if I was to print out num one before and then print out num one afterwards, let's see what we get. We get 10 and 11 because again, this is the same thing as adding one to it. And there is one more decrement, decrement minus minus. And you can guess this is minus minus. It's the same thing as this. And this will just, you know, take away from it. So we'll get, I want, so I'm going to do num2 just so we got another, you know, variable that we're using that we haven't used the decrement on. And oh, we were decrementing num1, hence why there was no change in the number that we printed out. Thinking that's weird. Okay, so we get five printed out, that's what it is before. Then, after the decrement, okay, after one's been taken away from it, we get four. So, it is you know that simple. So, in other languages, what you can also do is do this. Put the minus minus and the plus plus before it and you can do it in dart as well but there is a slight difference if it's on its own line like this then there's no difference but let me show you something i'll put this back here what would happen if i was to create i'm going to create another variable for int i'll create it down here actually a bunch of empty lines so it's easier to read. So I'll say int num num extra equals eight. And if I was to do print num extra and I do plus plus, so I'm doing the increment within the print line or you know with any in any other function call. We get eight print today, my thinking. Does it not work inside of here? What's happening if I put two of them? We get eight and nine. So this plus plus, if you put it after the variable, what it does is it does the rest of the line of code first, then it increases it. So if I was to actually, you know, just remove this, you'll still get nine printed out here. It's because this is triggered after the rest of the line has been called. So when it prints out the value, because this is only happening at the end, it gets the current value, which is eight. But if you want it to increment before this line has been called, you put plus plus like that. And as you'll see, we get nine. And obviously the next time you print it out, it is nine as well. That's the same principle for the decrement. If you have the decrement minus minus operator, at the end of the variable, the decrement occurs after the entire line has executed. If you put it before the variable, it occurs before the rest of the line. So that value, that new value is used with, you know, in accordance to the, you know, the rest of the line of code. So that is it for arithmetic operators. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.